Everybody, the U.S. government this morning announced it will provide pharmaceutical company Pfizer and its German partner a whopping $2 billion for the nationwide delivery of the first 100 million doses of their COVID-19 vaccine if they're able to successfully produce one with a plan to distribute those doses free to all Americans. And this week, our Bob Woodruff caught up with the head of the National Institutes of Health, Dr. Francis Collins, to discuss the latest development in the race for a vaccine. Here now, our weekly vaccine watch. One of the top medical leaders in the country is expressing cautious optimism that there will be a viable vaccine by year end. This is with some caution, uh, is that by the end of 2020, we will have one, two, or maybe three vaccines that have been proven safe and effective. Francis Collins has directed the National Institutes of Health, NIH, for the past decade, making him a longtime friend and boss to Dr. Anthony Fauci. Although encouraged by the highly competitive race for a vaccine. I think we expect to have vaccine available, produced, and on the shelf of some warehouse by the fourth quarter of this year. Towards the end of the year, or at least in autumn. We were aiming for September, October time. Collins says it's still unclear who will actually win the race. First has to mean really effective and completely safe. If it's not those things, well, maybe you got to the finish line, but you didn't win. As of this morning, Pfizer and his German partner were selected to be potential recipients of nearly $2 billion through the U.S. government's Operation Warp Speed, but only if they make it across the finish line. Um, our target is to be able to uh, supply that clinical data in the form of a, an application uh, to the FDA by October. Pfizer will only receive that money if our vaccine is approved by the FDA. Also making headlines this week, Oxford and its partner, AstraZeneca. So let's move to Oxford University. They said that they're months ahead of the other competitors. Their phase one data looks really good. I wouldn't say it looks distinctly better than what you see for the Moderna trial or the Pfizer trial. They all look good, which is really encouraging to see. Right now, most federal money invested in these companies is a gamble, but Collins expects there will be at least one effective vaccine. For which we have collectively 100 million doses already manufactured and ready to be distributed to the highest risk people with the promise of scaling that manufacturing up rapidly in early 21, so that by spring of 21, uh, we would have most Americans able to receive the immunization. Vaccine development is moving at an unprecedented speed, but Collins emphasized that safety remains a top priority. Uh, people, please don't worry that this is somehow sacrificing safety. Would you do it yourself? Would, your, I'd, would you be okay with your family members doing it? I'd roll up my uh, sleeve, get in line, and I would encourage everybody I know to do the same. But there is still lingering skepticism among some Americans who say they won't get vaccinated. Some still won't wear masks. It is ironic, isn't it? Here we are, the United States of America, the most technologically advanced country in the world. And yet there's also this question, this skepticism about science and can you trust it? And whether that's about whether you really do need to wear a mask when you go outside, which is very well established, or whether a vaccine that you're being offered is something you wanna take. Unfortunately, um, that resistance, that skepticism is now being very much whipped up uh, by social media, by the next conspiracy theory that ends up in your inbox and there's plenty of those. Some of them are outlandish and yet to my astonishment, I find reasonable people believe them. The tests for safety continue as many of these companies move towards phase three, the largest of the human trials. We need everybody to decide to look at this and see if they'd like to volunteer and take part in such a trial. I certainly would. Uh, go to this website, which is Coronavirus Prevention Network, all one word, dot org. To gather enough data, these trials need tens of thousands of volunteers. Right. <laughs> next week, Moderna will begin phase three trials right here in the U.S. This is Bob Woodruff, tracking the race for a vaccine. And our thanks to Bob Woodruff there. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.